it's currently 8.07. I don't like to do uh, extended Let's Plays of puzzle-based games because that's basically spoilerish in the sense that the, the joy of playing a puzzle-based game is figuring out the fucking puzzles on your own, and if anyone watches my video and as a result wants to play the game, I wouldn't want to ruin the experience for them by giving them every fucking solution, although at the same time, sometimes people get stuck and specifically seek out those types of videos, so I may do those types of videos on my YouTube channel, but, uh, you know, they would be directly titled as walkthroughs for specific levels. Um, so yeah, it's 8.08 now, I'm gonna give this game about 15 to 20 minutes, so at about 8.30 we'll be switching up games, that way I, I keep my uh, YouTube review videos in a healthy 15 to 20 minute range, much more than that, people don't really want to watch, or if they do watch, they don't want to watch the whole damn thing. It's just the nature of YouTube, unless, you know, you're doing some, like, ridiculous, long fucking let's play of, uh, something like, you know, some major RPG or some other fucking game. So let's go ahead and start. And it starts off with basically a tutorial here. Click here. And it tells you really what you need to do. And it's uh, connect these uh, tricones. So we have uh, three cones of different colors. And boom, we've completed that level. So that's, that's the basic, most basic premise of this fucking game. I can't... What? The fucking game just crashed on me. Alright, well, it's an early development. So, I won't really hold that against the, the game or the developers. No, it's failing to start the game. It says the app is already running, but the app is not fucking running. Hold on. Java based game. I fucking wonder. What the actual fuck? Alright, the game should be uh, starting up again here soon. Sorry guys. You know, for such a, a simple game, and it's probably because it was written in Java, it takes an exceptionally long time to start. Sorry if the music seems a bit loud to you, Boss Pie. I could barely hear it when I t tried to turn it down. I can barely hear it now. 
So I don't know why it's coming across louder for you guys. Do the same damn level again, fuck it. Since that's when everything went to hell. Alright, so now we uh, can do either of these two levels. Twisty synthesis, so still nothing too goddamn complex. We're basically attaching the uh, tricones to our little doodads there, the nucleus or whatever. So this is where shit gets a little bit more complicated. So we have to first break that wall to get to the tricone we need to complete this particular cell. And as of yet, the game hasn't really provided any challenge, but it begins to. So... Alright, so now we're moving on to more complex shit. So there we have to actually move the breakers to where they need to go. And then we can complete our nucleus. So if you enjoy weird puzzle games, you would enjoy this game, I think. Especially, you know, games that, you know, make you think outside the box. I like those kinds of games, and this definitely seems like as, as it gets into the deeper levels, it's definitely going to start challenging you to do just that. Alright, so we got to think here, because uh, based on the number of dots these things have, that determines, like, how many fucking jumps they can make. Um, this one has a red and a blue, and I'm kind of colorblind, so if I'm saying the wrong colors, you know why. So, I think, um, first thing we need to do here is get this breaker on this, attach that, do that, and then Break that, finish this one, and then we'll finish this one. So that wasn't too complicated. It's definitely getting more complicated than it was in the beginning. Break slice. This is new. Alright, so we need to get this blue one onto this and this uh, red one onto this. And I think I already fucked up. actually.
so that was fairly obvious, but what I guess I don't get is how I'm going to make the, the jumps necessary to get here. There to there. Yeah, there's... And now that's unusable. Interesting. Alright, so obviously I fucked this one up. So it's, it's already getting to a point where it's challenging me, that's good. Okay. So I did have to uh, kind of think a little outside the box there. What's wrong, Bus Pie? Well, if you want to watch Agent Carter, go for it, man. You're not going to hurt my feelings any. Alright, so I already fucked this one up. This one is, um... Yeah, I fucked it up. Again. So they're not the most complicated fucking puzzles in the world, not yet anyway, but I can tell, I mean we're still early in the game and it's early development, I'm sure it's going to get much harder. And it's already challenging me a little bit. Oh, I gained the tricone key, which unlocks new maps to play. So now we can do a breaker maker. So let's try to get through Breaker Maker. I'll consider that uh, plenty good for some uh, let's play of this game, and then we'll move on to another fucking game. Breaker Synthesis. What the fuck? Oh, now I have to synthesize breakers. Alrighty. 
Let's hit describe. Okay, I don't fucking... Maybe they... Who knows? Who the fuck knows? So, honestly, I can say I, I enjoy this game. This is my kind of game. I like puzzle games, weird shit. Something that, you know, if you were up late, didn't know what else to do, were bored, or, you know, at work and just wanted something casual to play, it would be a great game to keep you entertained for a while. So that one was still fairly easy, but required a lot of steps. So the scribe doesn't really tell us that much. It's obvious. So I can tell already I fucked this one up. Looks like we've got enough time to jump into the next map here, Breaker Baffle. I'm baffled already. Man, we've got a lot of fucking options here. Well, I'm more, it looks like we just got a lot of shit to do. Controls seem a little bit funky at times.
Alright, so I def definitely found that level to be a little complicated. I had to think about it. It was by no means impossible. Let's try to squeeze in one more level here. Remote breaker. What the fuck? So... Hmm... And with that, we fucking did it. So it's 8.30. I said that's about when I would stop this game. I think we've got more than enough for a YouTube video. And uh, I'll be able to bang up a quick review on Steam for that tonight. I enjoyed it. And I definitely think I'll be playing it more. I like weird games that keep my brain working. This is definitely in that category. And, um, shit, I'd say, uh, definitely, if you like puzzle games, Tricone Lab is worth checking out. The developer wants $11.99 for it. Um, a bit pricey for an early access game. Especially a bit pricey for puzzle games in general. I honestly think that uh, based on you know the cost of other games, including some games like AAA titles such as fucking you know Skyrim and Dark Souls, which are often going on sale for five dollars. I think that the, the developer maybe needs to uh, rethink their price for this game. And, uh, and I don't necessarily think that because of, uh, you know, I, I think it's a bad game. I'm just basing that on, on fair market value for games in general, this type of game, this genre of game, all that good stuff. Um, yeah, I think it was a good game. I definitely recommend it. I just feel the developer is, uh, perhaps, um, has maybe overestimated the, the cost, the price tag that they've they've put on the game for various reasons. Yeah. Shit, I think we've uh, played enough of this. What's next?